This is the most interesting product I used recently. Check this out. Windows laptop. iPad Pro 11 inch. I'm able to use it as my extended display in 1080p paired with the laptop using this Hagibis HDMI transmitter which only consumes 2.6 watts of power so technically you can um, power it right off the USB port or any USB power bank it turns any HDMI devices into um, a wireless signal then received by the Mac uh, by the iOS app on the tablet or I can use my iPhone to receive the Wi-Fi signal and use the app to uh, use the phone as the extended display for any laptops or Nintendo Switch or PlayStation, Xbox or if you are a photographer or video photographer you can also use that uh, HDMI port to convert the signal over the Wi-Fi and transfer it and use it use the iPad or iPhone as the monitor um, and I have to launch the R screen multiple devices can receive the same signal so I'm using both my iPhone and the iPad as the receiver as the extended display oh, they're uh, right. displaying the same signal oh, and the also uh, the audio comes out from the speaker as well so video audio in one stream however it is not touch screen okay so I have to if I want to skip the ad I will have to click skip ad using the uh, mouse okay and the image quality is excellent however I cannot zoom in and out it is 1080p resolution uh, if I come back to the main uh, screen that's the only drawback I can think of is that it does not support English uh, it is the uh, Chinese only but if you want to get this device here's my translation the first one is connect to the um, RS screen prefixed Wi-Fi signal so which can be easily done from here under the Wi-Fi settings and the second one is the mode selection okay that is connected looks like I got disconnected by uh, switching back and forth to the settings page and then we got the mode uh, it, it says fluent or high quality or full HD the receiver it, it, it is one to one or one too many uh, in the current mode I have one too many and it looks like I have a checkbox to disconnect the signal on my iPhone maybe if I click the confirm button the a firmware update it is the latest the channel switching it automatically analyzes the current Wi-Fi channel in the surrounding area and will be able to pick a, uh, a less busy one or with less um, interference like 6 or 17 uh, these two channels are probably not ideal um, yeah it will just automatically do automatically do that and there's a Wi-Fi username and password um, that can be reset it comes with the uh, default username uh, uh, the Wi-Fi connection password and does the automatic rotation as well now I'm gonna show you a few more um, test cases for example now I'm gonna turn off this laptop if you are a Mac user you can probably just use it out of the box use the iPad uh, as the sidecar without such device but if you have Chromebooks or the um, camera 
this is such a nice solution to have because professional monitoring devices for camera stuff are usually very expensive. Let me power it on. And the device is still online. I believe I'm still connected and it automatically uh, going to grab the signal from it. Okay, let me remove the lens cap. And this is such a nice solution for streamers too, or as or use it as a wireless HDMI transmitter if you do uh, video work. The delay is very minimal, barely noticeable. And my um, iPhone maintained the connection very well. So I can uh, theoretically connect uh, a pair of AirPods and monitor the audio in real time. I can hear the audio coming out from the speakers with very la little latency. Okay, here we can take a look at the device itself. It is powered via USB Type-C cable. And that's it. And there's a button. Uh, I don't think it does anything. And now let's connect uh, the Nintendo Switch and do some gaming, see how, uh, how little the latency is. Power on. It is um, connected in a dock. For the sake of uh, the portability in this test, I'm just using a Nintendo Switch, not using Xbox or um, the PlayStation. Yeah, sometimes I have trouble getting the signal out of the um, Nintendo Switch dock. Okay, looks like we are good. Press the same button three times. I'm gonna do the car racing game. Again, I have connection very well maintained, oops, by using my iPhone and iPad as the display for the Nintendo Switch, which is, which is crazy. I really like this device. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see some action here. Car racing game. The power consumption is always around three watts, maybe three watts. 5.1 volts, 0.5 or 0.6 amps. Looks like the Nintendo Switch is still booting up. Race, I just want to get into the race as fast as I can. I'll pick any random car, play. It's really a multi-step process for launching this game. <laughs> and I haven't got a chance to test the range yet, uh, but in my test case, you know, around in the room, I never had any trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi. If I zoom in, you can see the image quality is excellent. Yeah, this is gonna be a very good use case if you wanna uh, avoid the long HDMI connection and just have um, a very simple setup um, using the iPad screen as a larger display or if you have Android devices, tablets, you can get a huge screen uh, uh, very affordably and use it as the Nintendo Switch um, 
extend, uh, monitor or use it as the wireless monitor, extended monitor for any laptops or Chromebooks or uh, MacBooks. So yeah, highly recommend this device. Simple and elegant design. Check it out. Thanks for watching.